How many of us here today are living our own dreams? Imagine a little girl in India who saw her mom struggle to fulfill her own dream of pursuing a PhD. Because she, at a very young age, was arranged to my dad in an arranged marriage. God bless them, it's their 30th wedding anniversary tomorrow. So my mom is being arranged with my dad and she has a pending PhD. She's moved away from the town and soon after that, I was born. So a new marriage, a pending PhD, a job, and not so helpful in laws. Something needed to go away. And unfortunately, she had to drop out of her PhD. She could not defy the odds. She could not stand up against the societal pressures of getting married. And on that day, my destiny was written down. I was given this dream that was my parents to live, and that was pursuing a PhD, a borrowed dream. So my life mission became my parents' dream. And there I was finishing my master's in medicine in Delhi, and I got an offer from Queens, and I accepted that, whoa, what an achievement. My parents had been waiting on that movement for the last 28 years. And here I come getting a single ticket from Delhi to UK, everything I ever knew packed in these two suitcases, and I land in Belfast. And all this awe and wonder soon turned into my biggest nightmare. I was alone. There was no one, no family, no friends, and the work environment wasn't friendly either. So there I was slipping away into the darkness. I was super lonely. So I had to find an anchor that helped me to keep going on this journey because it was a borrowed dream. I just could not let it slip by. For the last 28 years, all I could hear was, we want her to do a PhD. So not even a single moment in my life till that day had I lived for myself. And there I thought, where's the anchor? I started working as a care assistant in and around Belfast, beautiful city. I started working as a care assistant and that was my sort of journey where I wasn't feeling lonely again because I had a purpose which was more than just a PhD. But that was not cutting for me. I had to find my passion back, my passion to do science, because just curbing the loneliness and not performing in the lab wasn't helping either. So I started lecturing in Derry, London Derry. Imagine a classroom beaming with curiosity. And there I found my passion for science again. And I had curbed my loneliness, found my passion for science again, and whoa, I was getting back on the track. But suddenly, I find myself going into this panic attack because the COVID-19 lockdown had begun. I literally get goosebumps even talking about that. It was such a depressive state. And I had to find a way out of it. And all of a sudden, I get a call to establish the first ever COVID-19 testing lab by a big pharmaceutical company. I was like, you know what, this is going to be amazing. There I was standing in a hazmat suit dealing with hazardous material. I felt on top of the world because that was something I wanted to do. So on these countless nights and days when I haven't slept, have had multiple episodes of panic attacks, have had depressive moments and lonely journey, the biggest burden has been carrying a borrowed dream, which slowly became mine. So if you are sitting and listening to me today and you're struggling to live or find the purpose or your dream, here are my five lessons that helped me sail through. Resilience triumphs over loneliness. Find your anchor. Teaching is a two-way street. 
Yes, I was getting paid to lecture, but the students helped me reignite the fire for science. Find something bigger than your own purpose. Saving millions of life during COVID-19 testing saved my life too. Imposter syndrome is a mirage, never self-doubt. And the really important one, if you are a parent to your young children, please remember my story ended on a very positive note. For your child, it might not. Yes, I have been living this borrowed dream for the last 28 years, but I have found myself. So thank you, mom and dad. Yes, I am a doctor. Yes, I am a scientist. But most importantly, I am I am me, guys. Thank you so much.